Practice at Softech 7.13 print elements, we're asked to write code that uses a for loop to print each element of an array named data, and it contains five integers. If the array contains these elements, then our code should produce the following output. So let's use a for loop to do this. We're going to do for int a is equal to zero, so it starts at index zero. And we're going to run this as long as a is equal to. It says write it for generally with the size of five. So you do a is less than five. But if you want to generalize it so the code works for any length, just get the array name. So we know it's name data and do data dot length. So we get the length of our array. We continuously increment our a so we can eventually break out of here. And then we can go inside this for loop and just print this out. So we're going to do a system dot out dot print line. And we're going to print each element associated with the specific index. So to get that element, we do int or not so int, sorry, my bad. I mean data, so the name of the integer array, or whatever array. We have data, and then we're going to pass in our index, so it's gonna print out this element. We can end this line, we should end our for loop, and since it's just one line, we should be able to run this without any braces like that. We can press submit, and okay, looks like we haven't passed any tests, and that's because it wanted us to print this out as well. Okay, so that's no big deal. We can just copy this and then put this inside of parentheses. We can append this. It's not that simple though, because we can't just print element zero is this every single time. So we're going to have to append to this. Um, we can have this in parentheses as well. And then this one in parentheses as well. And then we're going to append. Between these two appendages, what we are going to want to do is print out the index, right? So we're going to print out A. That's the specific index. We should have brackets around that. Let's submit this again. And submitting this once again, we pass three out of three tests. So that's the code I would use solve for self-check 7.13, which is print elements.